I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my horoscope report for you, Aquarius, for the week of May the 1st. Okay, so first of all, we have Mercury coming out of retrograde. Yay! <laughs> it's midweek, so on the 3rd. So keep in mind, this week, particularly as Mercury sits in your area of communication, and it is the planet of communication, when a planet goes in and out of retrograde, it can be quite disruptive. That period, that two or three days before and after, is called the storm, okay? When it takes, starts to take its turn, either stationary retrograde or as it is now stationary direct so by the end of the week things will start to settle down okay but this week try not to make any assumptions judgments um, if something is really important you might want to do it yourself okay uh, double check everything arrangements and uh, make sure you cross your T's, dot your I's, or all of that, okay? But, and particularly, as I said, it's in your area of communication. Venus is in this area as well, so you can connect with people, get things moving forward um, at this moment, and um, particularly to do with business, particularly to do with anything creative or technological. Now, um, we do have a connection between the Sun and uh, Neptune as well. And the Neptune, slow moving planet, been there for a while, your solar second house, all to do with money and possessions. The Sun is in your area of family, so it seems like there could be something new or an opportunity around your home or family area of life that you can either look at different, change direction, be a little more creative, inspirational, get inspired about it that can come through and be financially good, okay? Only you're going to know what that is and what's possible. And when we look at love, then Mars is sitting in your uh, area of connections with people. Um, it's a dynamic position for business connections. It's also a passionate connection for love connections, okay? So, uh, excuse me, you can meet somebody this week that you just almost fall in love with at sight. And uh, you can certainly meet business people this week that you have a strong connection with. Um, and with Mars, it can either be, you know, a, a strong connection that you don't like them or a strong connection that, well, they're like, you know, they're like soul partners, um, on some level either for business or personal all right okay so love and luck to you thanks for watching see you next week